Today the plan is a fried rice video. I'm thinking since there was so many people having so many things to say about fried rice when I posted a thread, I think it'd be good to go over that and how I like to make my fried rice because I've made thousands of orders of fried rice before. I remember when I worked at Palace, Palace Kitchen, we had something called the late night and on late night, it was after 10 p.m., a special dish, and you could only order after 10 p.m. And for one of our late nights, it was a fried rice that we had on for quite a while. It was very popular. And my gosh, so many orders of fried rice late at night. It's probably still built into my muscle memory. <music> Today's video is going to involve some Korean stuff. So I'm at I'm at the Mecca today, H Mart, because I need some kimchi today. And today's video is going to involve a condiment that I make with kimchi. If I'm ever at H Mart, I always go for the the woody stuff. This is just the stuff that's trusted by a lot of people that I know, and this is my favorite. I like the woody. They always have such a good fish section here, too. I see we're coming up on razor clam season, too. Maybe I should go razor clamming. The other thing I need for this video is going to be the rice component. Uh, a lot of people ask me about the rice that I use. I always use this, the Nico Nico rice. This is what's been used by many chefs that I know that are local here in Seattle. I think it comes from California. That's where it's grown. But um, I even had a girlfriend in the past who's Japanese and her grandma's Japanese, and she like swore by it. She like came to this country with a bag of Nico Nico. I don't really understand how since it's from California, but that's the story I always just went with. Um, and it's a really good quality rice, but my, my opinion to you is just find a good quality short grain rice that you like. A lot of people say cow roast is good. It, I mean, it is what it is. I just stick to what I stick to, and that is Nico Nico. I never fuck with anything else. So next thing for this condiment, it's it's kimchi ketchup. That's what I'm making. Uh, I need ketchup for this. I've seen at H Mart them selling an actual kimchi ketchup in a bottle, but I'm at the smaller H Mart today. This is like the city one, it's a lot smaller. So they don't have it, but I'm just gonna go with this. But then I just noticed this right here. This looks like a fancier one. It's obviously more expensive, $6.99, this is $2.99. Rich tomato ketchup. I wonder if there's like something different in here. We've got water, tomato paste, corn syrup. I mean, it doesn't look like it's rich tomato paste or tomato ketchup, so I'm just gonna go with the standard. Also, what happened to ketchup coming in glass bottles? I missed this. This is a chili sauce though. I don't really know what this means. Heinz chili sauce, is this like a ketchup but spicier? I think we're gonna buy this and just test it because now I'm really curious about it. And I miss glass bottle ketchup. That was the best. <sighs> um, I have a little book where I keep all the ideas and I write them down. Lately, I've been doing little drawings too. I'll like draw out the dishes and just try to get like a more better pictured idea in my head. And that's actually been helping me out lately, um, just with my creativity, honestly. So today is going to be a day where I make YouTube shorts, reels. They're, they're all the same. They're all just vertical videos. So let's just call them shorts. Um, so I'm going to be making bulk shorts, which means like I'm going to try to do shoot three to five something like that just because it's easier like that instead of making them every day and posting them every day it, it feels more stressful 
Um, so I, I like to do bulk and shorts. And then the next days, I like to slowly work on long form horizontal videos like this one. Those I actually enjoy making more. I, I think it's probably just you get to put time and effort into it. While I was in the shorts, yeah, they do take some time and some effort, but you don't put as much because you realize that they don't pay off as well. Like they're not as rewarding. I mean, it's, this is coming from me, growing this, this channel to over a million subscribers, you guys, and growing TikTok to over 5 million. I could tell you the audience is not as committed to you when it's a short form video. You think about it like this. If you're swiping through this YouTube or Instagram, you're swiping through all the shorts, right? Can you tell me one of those people that you just watched? It's kind of hard, right? To even remember one of those people you just watched. That's what I'm saying. It's like less engaged. Justin from Holly Pop. Now, why do I have this? It's because I've been really addicted to these in the past and I haven't had them in a minute. And uh, I'm seeing a bunch of people post this, so I, I hit them up and they sent me a case. This, rem this one reminds me of the, what's it called, manzana Mexican sodas I used to have when I was a kid. Except these are supposed to be good for you. I got probiotics, good for the gut, good for digestion. So yeah, these will go pretty quick. I guess. They don't have too much caffeine, so I can't really have them at night. Now, as promised, I want to fulfill that promise and show you guys how I make these videos. I'm going to make um, one of those. If you see my channel, I'm going to make one of those always better at restaurant videos. Getting the big light here. I'm going to show you the setup, the cameras, everything I do. Just a little flip on there and boom. Now it's daytime. This is what it looks like when it gets lit. Looks a little better. I usually play around with this and I'll kind of go as needed. Um, so the gear, this is what I'll be using. I use a mix of things for these videos. So this is the main. This is the main right here. Uh, 2470, this is usually for the YouTube shorts. Um, for the longs, For the longs, I use this guy. It's a 16 to 35. Now, the reason for this is so you could see everything. It's a more wide angle. And then this one is a 10 millimeter that gets you like a really, really wide angle. It's just for fun shots. Not gonna go too far into depth on the gear, but here's the gist of it. 360 camera, microphone, Sony FX3, little tripod, and I use this as my monitor. And this right here, my friends, this is what you're talking to. Little wire, plug that into the Charizard. Test, 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 and there we go. Mic'd up. This is the, the setup right here. We've got this one for better monitor control, and now you can see. Fried rice is always better at restaurants. I'm gonna tell you why in this video. There are one, two, three, four, five reasons. I gotta remember what the reasons were, so I'm gonna go through my notes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight reasons. Finish with an egg. Fried rice is always better at restaurants. There are about eight reasons why it's better at restaurants. I'm gonna go over those eight reasons in this video. Fried rice is always better. Now this just gets off of that tripod, and then this will go back on that tripod. Come on. This is the part where I go over all the screenshots of the comments that people put that I want to use in the video. So um, I'll just screenshot them, and then I'll just kind of go over them on the camera. So uh, just so you know, I do use the comments sometimes. So... I posted, I made a post asking what makes a good fried rice. It got a lot, there's a lot of angle changes and light movement that goes into these things. 
Now here's the part where I'll just explain why I'm using a walk and all that stuff. And I have to do like all the angle changes. So I move the light here, move the camera here. Why use a carbon steel walk over high heat? You hear this all the time, but you don't really know the reason. Now this is the part where I have to change cameras. I've got this little Insta360 facing down at this because I'm just gonna explain something real quick on like cleaning the walk. Now how do you clean your walk in between doing all these fried rices that are gonna get it all sticky and dirty? Now you can use what's called a walk brush. Next up on the list of reasons is moisture control, or what a lot of people keep saying is dried out day old rice. You might be thinking fresher is always better, right? Fresh rice should be good for a, a fried rice, but no, you see all that? That is steam, my friends. Steam, we do not want steam. This is the part where I talk to the refrigerator. I like doing these shots. I grew up with these. Um, this chef named Alton Brown did a lot of this stuff in his, his uh, show called Good Eats. Anyways, I didn't realize I was inspired by that and just doing it subconsciously, but yeah, that's what I do now. Now we talked about moisture control, but what's the reason for it? Well, so as you can see here, the rice, it's crumbling, it's separating. When you have rice that's moist, it sticks together and it... I usually do a lens change whenever I'm working on these. I usually do a lens change whenever I'm working on these uh, shots right here that include the chopping, just so I can get a little closer in the scene. Hmm. Trying to decide which plate to use. I think this one. Here we go, everybody, fried rice video. There it is. Why is it following me? There we go. <laughs> 